Hi, I'm Dr. Bort Fonda from Absolute Black Science Lab. I'd like to demonstrate you how to properly use and lubricate the chain using graphene loop from Absolute Black. So first, you're going to need a new chain. Take it out of the back. And you may know that a brand new chain contains a layer of grease to preserve conservation and prevent corrosion. So take the new chain and use one of the double string poly bags that we provided you with um, or use any of your own similar that uh, can be a zip tie seal or any type of seal. Put the chain in and then use either white spirit or mineral terps to put it in. This is going to remove all the excessive grease that's on the chain. You don't need much, just enough to cover the entire chain in. Now make sure you properly seal it. And give a chain a good wrap. Now I would suggest to leave it for at least 5 to 10 minutes in so more of the grease will leave the chain. For optimal performance of the chain I would even advise it to use it overnight. In case you're going to use a used chain, so the chain you've previously used on a bike, um, you can repeat the whole process, removing and changing with white spirit to put a fresh one in. This is going to ensure that all the excessive uh, dirt and all that's gonna, uh, that was on the chain before will be removed. Now, after you get, uh, after you will take the chain out of the poly bag, make sure you completely dry it. It's essential that you leave it for at least a few hours on the sun or uh, in a dry space that the chain becomes completely dry. Use the second poly bag that we provided you with and put the chain, a dry chain, a clean and dry chain into the poly bag. Take the loop um, and give it a very good shake before you use it. Now after shaken, remove the entire cup over, off and put the lubricate, the loop into the poly bag. Again, you don't need to use the whole bottle because you're going to recycle the uh, excessive loop and you're going to put it back into the bottle. Tighten the seal and give it a very good rub. Now try to move the chain as much as possible because this is going to ensure that the loop will enter the chain to every single place inside the chain that normally doesn't get. You can even leave it for about two to three minutes. Once you're done, take the chain out and uh, make sure that the old excessive loop drips back into the poly bag and then hang the chain somewhere and leave it to dry. You're going to achieve the best performance if you leave it at least for a few hours or even better overnight. At the end, you will get a chain like that, which is going to look a little bit black. That's from the graphene, um, but it's not going to be wet anymore. It's going to look dirty, but rest assured, it's not dirt. This is what makes your chain very fast. So once you're done with the process, put the chain on the bike. Uh, you can uh, give it a good wipe with a cloth in case you just want to remove the excessive wax or you can leave it for uh, longer sustainance. Now, all processes after that, you can just cleanly, uh, clean the chain, use water and a clean cloth and you add more loop using the, uh, the neck on the bottle. That's it, very simple.